Hey guys, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today we'll be showing you another basic tutorial on how you could access the admin account on your PLDD router. So we're gonna let it in. Let's get started. So first off, go to the start menu, right click it, and click on the command prompt as administrator if you are using Windows 10. But if you're using Windows 7 or below, just click on the start menu, look for command prompt. And right click on the command prompt, run it as administrator. It will take you this kind of window. What you have to do, simply just type is IP config and hit the enter button and it will show you this Windows IP configuration settings. What you just basically have to look for is the default gateway IP address right here which is basically the IP address or address of your router. So just simply copy that one and open up your web browser. Paste it and you'll be taken to the login page of your PLDD home fiber router which is going to look like this. But if you're using Firefox or any browser which you might be able to encounter this kind of issue, you might be shown with this kind of warning potential security risk. Just simply click on the advanced button and click on the accept risk and continue. That error simply shows up because there is no valid um, SSL certificate on your router which is basically required now on most of the modern browsers. So din yun naman kailangan maintindihan yun but that's basically it. So for the uh, username just simply type in admin and for the password um, type in 1234 if you're accessing this router for the first time. But if it doesn't work for you, you could reset the router by um, clicking on the pinhole at the back of your router. If you for have forgotten the default password or you have changed it before and you have forgotten the password, press the um, small pinhole at the back of your router for around 10 seconds and wait for it to automatically reset your modem. So I'm going to type in my password right here. Once logged in, you simply go to the um, management tab and you'll be able to change your admin password right here. So that's basically it. Stay tuned and uh, leave your comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hit that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials on this channel. So till then, see you again on my next video.